Vincent van Gogh fought against visual monotony by introducing bugle notes of color to his paintings. He was passionate about color, and there's no purer example of this than his paintings of sunflowers, where Van Gogh took a single trumpeter note of chrome yellow and created several audacious still lifes. In the summer of 1888, after moving to the town of Arles in the south of France, Van Gogh began a series of sunflowers in a vase. Besides their obvious beauty, these flowers signified happiness and hope. Two of the paintings were meant to adorn the guest room of Paul Gauguin, who stayed with Van Gogh for several months. Several of the paintings share a similar composition, representing the flowers at various stations of the life cycle, from growing, to flowering, to seeding, and then dying. The next year he made several copies of those paintings. However, this particular reproduction at the Philadelphia Museum of Art stands out. The light blue turquoise background and the purple vase provide a respite from the domineering yellows and browns of the flowers. The paint is applied generously in the thick impasto technique, giving the flowers a representative tactile feeling. We know from a letter to his brother Theo that Van Gogh conceived the idea of a triptych that incorporated two of the sunflower paintings one with a yellow background and the other with a blue background, with a portrait in the center. The chrome yellow that Van Gogh used was a relatively new color in the 19th century and not permanent, which is why some of the sunflower paintings have lost a degree of vibrancy. Van Gogh was aware of the impermanence of some of the pigments and commented, paintings fade like flowers. All the more reason to start boldly. I'm Larry Withers, and this has been your Two Minute Masterpiece. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. To learn more about First Art Gallery, view the video below. To see our other Two Minute Masterpiece videos, click on the playlist.